So if you want to see how I created this vampy, smoky look, just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going in with my MAC Stud Eyebrow Pencil. I've had this for ages, and I think I've only used it a couple of times. I'm gonna have to get my eyebrow brush and like fade out the front because this one doesn't have a brush, unfortunately. Oh, I made a boo boo. That's better. My kids are making so much noise. It's unbelievable. One thing about this pencil is that because it's so thin, it's so precise. Okay, so I have sorted that out with the brush. Now I'm going to use my concealer just to go over my eyelid. I'm going to just use a sponge to pat all that out. But I'm not going to set it. I've really been into not setting my concealer. It just helps to make the eyeshadow stick to the eyelid. So I'm using my Disney Designer palette and I'm using shade Grumpy and Abu together. I'm gonna just dab those two and I'm just going to stamp that on just above the crease. Now I'm gonna go and with that darker shade that we just had, the Abu shade on its own. I'm not gonna use Grumpy. And that's just to deepen just under where we put that mixed shade. I always have problems getting the shadow like there. Make sure you stamp it on. Mm -hmm. Now using my Saharan palette, I'm gonna go in with Chad, this black here. I'm gonna use this crease brush. I'm just gonna dot it. Like I'm not gonna swipe it in the pan. I just dotted it in the pan. And I'm gonna go right on the lid. And you've got to be sure that you get it inside all the lines because it's like when i put this over the lines like my little wrinkles it just it just accentuates those wrinkles so make sure that you get the shadow inside the actual lines themselves and i'm just using small circular motions to blend out the black to the brown and i haven't picked up any more eyeshadow because I don't want to make it a mess. See in there is perfect, out here needs work. So using a fresh brush I'm just going to go back in with Grumpy and just try to control what's going on here. That is so much better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've gone and I've done the other eye and I started putting on my L'Oreal Infallible Stick Foundation but I'm feeling like it's a little bit dry on its own. I'm going to put it around my head, on my face, on my nose and then I'm also going to add some of the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. So I'm going to mix the two basically because the stick, the stick foundation formula is a little bit drier than, of course, the liquid foundation formula. So now I'm gonna just... Do you prefer this brow shade on me rather than the lighter one? Let me know what you think. 
because I'm kind of feeling this brow color. I think it matches my hair a lot better because normally I have like a brownie kind of shade. Just for the areas that need that little bit extra. So you see, I don't go in with a whole new layer. I just go over the areas that need a little bit extra. And this thing always seems to pop out all the time. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a sponge. So I've put the foundation on. I'm just using my sponge. I'm going around the edges. And I pat the area that I'm, like over the actual area that needs the coverage, I just pat it so that it's actually blended into the skin. But I only like pat it twice, otherwise I'm taking coverage away. Now for concealer. This sponge really needs a clean, but anywho. So just a couple of swipes underneath the eye. I'm just gonna spray my sponge. Recently, I've been spraying my sponge rather than um, running it under water, but I just leave the water that I spray on it on the surface of the sponge. I just feel like it makes the concealer melt into the skin a lot better. I think it's because it's melting in with the water. I don't know, it just feels so much better when I do it like that. See, there wasn't there was more water on this side than there was on this side and this side has come out so much better it's so much smoother what i am going to do is use a white powder like a translucent powder rather than my banana powder because the banana powder it brightens my face this powder i just kind of want it to bring a more ghostly effect I just want to make sure that my foundation and my concealer isn't any warmer than it already is. I'm literally just lightly going in with that powder. I'm literally just going in with like the thinnest veil. I don't want to look sick. I just don't want it to be warm. Cool. So for contour, I am going to stick with my Conceal and Define by Revolution. You know that Revolution are like one of my faves, my days. Now I'm only using a little, little bit of this contour shade because it is quite warm. I'm gonna go over it with a more of a gray tone powder, like a gray tone brown or a cool tone brown. I don't want too much warmth shining through, but I just need to make the initial shape This side always comes out better than this side. And I think it's because this side already has like its own natural contour thing going on. I can never get this side 100% the same. All right, so now I'm gonna be using this grayish tone, this cool toned brown. I'm gonna mix it with this one here at the top. So these two. And with contour, remember to blend upward rather than down. Because down would make it look like you have a little bit of a beard. Or that five o'clock shadow, whatever you want to call it. Hmm. Okay, so I have put on some lashes. I've done my eyeliner, finished my contour, put on a little bit of highlighter. Now I'm going to do my lips. I'm using this black lipstick. Okay, so this is the finished look. I absolutely love this look. I think it's so, so dark, vampy, and just kind of goth looking, but it's still glam at the same time. And knowing me, I would definitely wear this out. <laughs> so let me know what you think down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.